day 17 for your Boston Bruins inside the NHL Eastern Conference bubble in Toronto. And time for round one, game one of the Stanley Cup playoffs against the Carolina Hurricanes. The Bruins arrive for an 8 p.m. puck drop only to find out the early game has gone into its fourth overtime. Now, time is an issue. Game one is in question. Oh my god! Oh! Shoot that! Still overtime. What time is it? Real time. It is. How many time, times can we listen to this playlist today? <laughs> Just got a bus for practice tomorrow that's going to leave from the Scotiabank Arena. <laughs> Columbus and Tampa are headed into a fifth overtime, and with the clock ticking past 9 p.m., decisions are made about the Boston-Carolina game. I think the league is wanting now to push it. The fact that a good night's sleep play at 11, personally, I know we've been waiting a long time, but playing this slate might screw you up for down the road. We don't have back to back then? 11 and then 8? Oh yeah, 11 and 8, we'd have back to back. 11's like a practice time, and the next day a back to back is... We've been, you know, through some of those, but it's not an eight and eight, it's an eleven and eight. We're all excited to play, and we want to get out. I just think it's a little more logical and probably the smart thing to do in the long run. Yeah, when I was eleven, I think in the Kingston tournament, you got pushed back a few hours, grinded it out. Hey, you know, this is game one of the playoffs tomorrow. Uh, we'll be ready to go. We've put our work in. Just come to the rink, ready to play. You know, let's get after it and enjoy it. We've earned our right to be here, so, uh, you know, just got pushed back uh, 16 hours or whatever it was, and, and we'll be ready to go tomorrow. Coach and the team now head back to the hotel for a quick meal and a good night's sleep to reset for game one. <laughs> Eleven a.m. Wednesday, August twelfth. The game delayed fifteen hours, but finally, it's time to drop the puck for Game One. Shift boys, drop it. Three. Oh, what are you gonna do? Oh, no, no. Oh, it, what are you gonna do? I'll knock you out for sake. Come on, guys, time out. Bro, we're gonna get one. Hey, I, let, let me go on the wall and get to the net here, okay? I'm doing it. What are we doing? Yeah. You're coming off the wall. Yeah. Oh, you're coming off the wall. Yeah. Oh, you're Charlie Coyle's first of the postseason with a big helping hand from Nick Ritchie survives a coach's challenge from Carolina. But the Bruins' lead does not hold up. Back and forth they go, all the way to double OT. Oh, oh. Yeah! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. Woo! Is that big man? Yes. We have to do this 15 more times. Like, it hurts to win. Like, it, it might take y'all night to win or all day, but it hurts to win. And, and, and it takes everybody. So, uh, you guys did a good job. I'm just saying that, that that's the difference between the regular season. Like, every, you never know when the next play is. We've got to be ready to, you know, do our part when it's our turn to make the next play. And I thought everyone contributed. A lot of guys step up to, to, to today. Uh, but I think that one guy who really, really uh, put the... the out there, put his uh, body uh, on the line, uh, Nordy. Oh. Yeah. Bergy, that's for you. OT, yeah, winner. Yeah. 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 He's got it. Hey, go put the sticker on. He's here. Let's do it again tomorrow. Yeah. 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 
I saw you. At least like what, right? Uh -oh. Game two is a roller coaster, but halfway through the third, the Hurricanes go up by one, and with the clock winding down, the Bruins storm the Carolina end in a desperate bid to tie it up. Once again be without David Pasternak's services in this one. And as the team gets ready, there is shocking news. Tuka Rask has opted out of the postseason. Yaro Halak will now take over. Well, boys, up. Yeah. Have a good start. Speed a moment all night. Whoever's in the pants in the past, good or bad. Come on, boys. Yeah, yeah. At our best. Lots of energy. Ready to roll, huh? It's time for us to really... Up and anybody can make a hit. These guys don't want to have nothing to do with it, so bring it, hey boys. So I had to rhyme like that to shine like this in the matter of time I spent on some locked up in the back of the caddy wagon, cuffs locked on wrists. They tell me, get him, I got him. I did it without an album. When I bought that in morning, y'all thought it was ready. There are no easy games in the Stanley Cup playoffs, and today, the pressure is ramped way up. But as they take the ice, it's obvious number 41 and the Bruins are ready for the challenge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Why are you going? Big Poppy. Back again for Svechnikov. His shot is stopped by Halak. Oh my God. Flurry. Caden Flurry. A wrist shot added down by Halak. Good rebound control to the corner. Lay it back for Slavin. His shot to a screen. Rolls in on Halak, who scrambles back to the line and has it. Well, that was a close call. Yeah, feel it, you Great job, Z. Did I just miss? High glove. Yeah. Shoot it. Yeah! Let's go! It's 2 0 Bruins early in the third when a Yarrow Halak miscue cuts the lead to one. But the men from Boston will not be denied tonight. They regroup and close this one out in style. Twenty-nine saves for Yarrow Halak and his first playoff win as a Bruin. Most importantly, it gives Boston the two-one series lead. I love you. Cause I could, cause I could eat. Da -da -da -da. 
Great job, Cliffy. Yeah, dude. Jaro clearly has no bonuses for playoff shutouts. I got that out. Just like that's a shutout. I didn't want to get it. I didn't want to get it. I didn't want to get it. Proud of you guys today. Good response. Um, I'm not surprised at all, but I'm proud of you. All right, Jack. Congratulations on your first joke. Jaro. dressing room, right? First round of playoffs, Tori, we win in this one. That's what we do here. All right. Good job, fellas. That's two. Now we'll, we'll enjoy this one. Uh, and then get, get refocused on win number three in the series. All right, great win. Proud of you. Well done. Well done. Hell of a game, boys. That's a lot of fun to be a part of. Yeah. Go to uh, anyone in this locker room today, but Cliffy. Bruins Hurricanes game four is another evenly matched contest, but after two frustrating periods, the Bees find themselves trailing to nothing. In the third period, though, Connor Clifton and the Bruins come out determined to change the momentum and take back command of this game. That's, that's one. Seven minutes and 28 seconds into the period, the pendulum swings Boston's way. Jake DeBrus cuts the Canes' lead to one. Then Charlie McAvoy alters the dynamic of the game and the entire series. That's it, Chuck. That's why you don't try to hit 7 3. You want it? You want it? You want it? You want it? Playoffs. I'm finishing my hits. I'm going to finish my hits. Bruins' dominant third period propels them to a huge come-from-behind win and pushes Carolina to the brink of elimination. Good job, boys. Hell with third, boys. Awesome. Never a doubt. Never, never a doubt. Hey, uh, Chucky, that turns games around right there. Hell of a comeback. Gotcha. Got to play 60 minutes, hell of a win. Proud of Got checked there in the third, we got it done, so. Excited, that's how we play our hockey. No way, I'm going to playoff slim. Oh! After their unbelievable comeback win, the Bruins now stand ready to close this series out in Game 5. And more good news. After missing the previous three games, David Pasternak is officially back in the lineup. It's our last game, boys. We push. They can't play with us. Uh, you don't want to come back, so. You don't want to stay here, boys. You worry about that first point. It's all we think about in here. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Yes. Yeah, come on, go. You got time. A couple of great A chances for number 88 in the Bruins, 
but once again they find themselves trailing. In the second period, Jake DeBrusque and the offense make it their business to get things back on track. Shots! Hey, shots! I'll be in front! Shots! Yeah. 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 Time to make a play. Let's go. Shoot it. Yes. Yeah. 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 Two second period goals, both assisted on by David Pasternak, turn the tide in this game and leave the Bruins on their way to victory in round one. Good block! I said! Yes, right, boys. Yeah! Yeah! yeah. yeah. 23 saves on 24 shots for Yaro Halak, plus two power play goals by the top unit means the Bruins are now on to round two. But first, a few moments to enjoy their victory. Great to have a finishing uh, approach and mentality, all right? You know, if you expect to have a long run, the quicker you can finish someone off, the better off you're going to be, so great job. Special teams, excellent tonight, PK at the end, outstanding, great blocks. Yaro, terrific job. Yeah, Yaro. Unbelievable series. Great job, Hamburg, you're God, but have to go with playoff cred. The Boston Bruins are moving on to round two of the Stanley Cup playoffs but do not yet know who they will face. So it's business as usual at the practice rink, where the guys are feeling pretty loose. Is Friday supposed to be the best day of the week? Doesn't look like it. <laughs> As the team settles in for another night in the bubble, they learn their opponent for round two will be a familiar one, the Tampa Bay Lightning. They're a great team. They have been for, for a number of years now. Um, and it's, we're going to expect a hard matchup. You know, they have a bigger back end over there. They have um, a lot of skill forwards at work and compete. So it's going to be a, definitely a tough series, but we're up for it. And we've had some battles against the team. They're obviously a very good squad, and uh, it's going to be a tough challenge for us. We're going to have to be our best every single night to get a, to give a chance to, to beat them. And, um, you know, it's going to be intense. It's, uh, you know, two teams that want to win really bad, and I feel like we're pretty evenly matched up. Oh, well, it's going to be a hard series, you know, like, uh, they, they're a good team, obviously, and uh, they're top to bottom. And, and you know, we uh, obviously we'll try to match it, and uh, we'll, we'll see what happens. You know, uh, everybody's excited, and uh, we'll see. Yeah, beating the Lightning will be a difficult task, so it's right back to work for the Bruins and goaltending coach Bob Asensi. Fortunately, goalie Bob enjoys his job. Are you ready? Here comes one. One for one. Two for two. Oh, Chuck's waving for it. Here we go. Oh, yeah. No, I didn't quite make it. That was up there. Want to do a little bit after today? See how you're feeling? No. Uh, just a couple of Tampa type scenarios. We're going to do attack, attack, defend, but I want to always go out the weak side. Let's go around the world. Around the world. Right? Around the world. Let's go. I know it's an extra 15, 20 feet of skating, but I think it's going to pay dividends. Here we go. Go for one. Make a play. Woo! 
Nice Danny boy. The Boston Bruins and the Tampa Bay Lightning. When the season was paused, these two clubs were first and second in the entire NHL. Now, in 2020, they meet for the third time in nine years in the playoffs. And this edition of the matchup looks to be one of the toughest battles of them all. Two elite teams vying for the right to move to Edmonton for the conference finals. It promises to be a series that no one will want to miss. Let's go. Let's go.